This is 8.4 and subtract rational expressions. Uh, this should be our last video of the year, uh, so we'll make it a good one. Okay, so uh, first things first, if you ever get a subtraction sign, just know I'm going to change that to plus and then change whatever signs are up here. If there's multiple terms, change multiple signs, right? So plus in this case just becomes positive 9. Don't got to write positive 9 though, so you're good there. Okay, uh, now factor the denominator, factor the denominator. Okay, numerators are just numbers, so we're fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to change this. I'm going to factor out an 8x squared. That'll be each of these. 8x squared. I'll be left over with 2x minus 3. And then over here, I'll factor out a 4x squared. 4x squared, I'll be left with 2x plus 3. Okay. Least common denominator, I'm looking at these, I'm wondering, uh, 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3, they're very similar, right? Uh, they don't match, though, so I still have to multiply it over. So this side needs a 2x minus 3 over 2x minus 3. Okay? Uh, this side needs a 2x plus 3 over 2x plus 3. Okay? These don't match either, though. 8x squared and 4x squared. How can I make 4x squared become 8x squared? Okay, you start you start thinking like that. I can just multiply this by 2, right? So if I multiply this entire side by 2, top and bottom, I can just go right there, 2, 2, okay? Now I'll start distributing, okay? I have my denominator. That's my least common uh, multiple, right, LCM. So 2x times 7. I'm going to write this over here on the right. Uh, 2x times 7, I'll end up with 14x. Uh, 3 times 7, I'll end up with 21. Okay? Plus, here's where some people get tricked. Okay? I have 9 times 2x minus 3 times 2. If you want to, if you have two monomials, 9 and 2, just multiply them together. Right? 9 times 2. Instead of putting times 2 times 9, we just put times 18. Okay, 18 times 2x is going to be 36x. 18 times negative 3 is going to be negative 54. I think it's been negative 54. Yep. Okay, uh, now we'll combine like terms. I know my denominator is just all of this or all of that, whatever you want to use. Uh, 14x and 36x combine to make 50x, 21, negative 54, combined to make negative 33. Okay, put it over your denominator. This will be 8x squared plus, uh, excuse me, times 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. That's your answer. Okay, some of these will get a little bit more complicated uh, than ones you've seen. Uh, so just make sure you're uh, looking at how you factor. But that's your final answer. Okay, let's look at problem number two. Okay, problem number two. Uh, go ahead and get this down. Uh, try to start factoring stuff on your own. Try to start factoring stuff on your own. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this part. 5x plus 10 can be 5 times x plus 2. Okay, uh, top right, I can go... Uh, 2x can be factored out of there. So 2x is factored out and left with x plus 3. Okay? Denominator now. Okay? Uh, each one of these I can factor out uh, 4 out of. Okay? I can also factor out x squared. So 4x squared, I'm left over with 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Okay? Over here, uh, similar. I can factor out an 8 now. I can factor out an 8 x. That's supposed to be an x. I don't know why. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, factor out an 8x to the third now. Okay. I should be left over with 2x squared plus 5x plus, uh, excuse me, minus 3. Okay. Now, um, I know I'm eventually going to have to multiply this side by 2x so I can get those two to match. Okay. What I'm going to do before that, though, I want to break these down even farther. Okay, I've got two things I need to do. Um, I need to do diamond method for both of these. Okay, so 
diamond method here, I need two numbers that multiply to 4 and add to 5. Okay, what multiplies to 4 adds to 5? Uh, how about 4 times 1? So 4 times 1, put it over 2x, put it over 2x. Right, whatever your ax value is. So in this case, this will be 2x plus 1. This will be simplified to 2 over 1x, so that will be x plus 2. Okay, if you're not sure if you did it right, you can just multiply it through. Okay, you will get that trinomial. Okay, uh, over here, I'll do this at the same time as well. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. It adds to 5. So two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to positive 5. Uh, so multiples of negative 6, negative 6 times 1. Uh, so we'll just flip that. So it'll be positive 6 times negative 1. Okay, that multiplies negative 6 and adds to positive 5. Okay, put it over 2x, put it over 2x. Okay, this can't be simplified. That's going to be 2x minus 1. This can be simplified. That's 3 over 1x or x plus 3. Okay, uh, before we move on, let's go ahead and rewrite this. I will rewrite this on the side here. Okay, just so it's a little less jumbled. So I've got 5 oh, uh, x plus 2 over 4x squared. That's going to be x plus 2, 2x plus 1. Okay, plus 2x over x plus 3 over 8x to the third. Uh, and this becomes x plus 3, 2x minus 1. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a hard problem. Okay, and in most cases it would be. But uh, because we factored the numerator, we can see that some of these can actually start to cancel out. Right? If I have it numerator over denominator, I can cancel these out. x plus 2 over x plus 2, those are gone. Okay, x plus 3 over x plus 3, those are gone. As long as they're on top of each other, when there's a plus sign in between them, uh, they can cancel out. Now, if there's a plus sign in between, you can't take this 2x and cancel out this 4x. That doesn't happen. You can use this 2x to cancel stuff, stuff out with 8x to the third. Okay? So, 2 over 8 becomes 1 over 4, and then x over x to the third becomes uh, 1 over x squared. So, 2x over 8x to the third should become 1 over 4x squared. So I'm just going to erase that and put 1 over 4x squared. Okay? Notice these match now. 4x squared, 4x squared makes it much easier. Right? Uh, I'll go ahead and rewrite this so it's a little cleaner. 5 over 4x squared, 2x plus 1, plus 1 over... 4x squared, 2x minus 1, right? All this needs now, all you should be able to do this uh, very easily now. 2x minus 1 is over here, 2x plus 1 goes over here. 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. Okay, this will be 10x minus 5, this will be... 2x plus 1. That'll be your numerator. Okay? So, uh, 10x and 2x make 12x. Negative 5 and positive 1 make negative 4. So this should be 12x minus 4. 12x minus 4. As far as my denominator goes, 4x squared... 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. That's your answer. Okay? Uh, some of these problems are a little longer, uh, take a little bit more work, uh, but sometimes it cancels out and you get a kind of okay, nice problem. Okay? Let's look at one more example. Okay? One more example. So, go ahead and get this one down. Uh, copy this down and then... Uh, Try doing this as much as you can on your own, okay? First thing I want to do, though, um, this negative sign, 
All right, I'm going to switch this to positive, but this is the case where I said there's two terms in the top right. So this becomes plus, and then I need to think about it like distributing a negative 1 inside. Okay, this positive 7x squared becomes negative 7x squared. This uh, negative 2x to the third becomes positive 2x to the third. Okay, uh, now I'll keep on uh, going on and break stuff down. So this is monomial, I can just write 5x squared there, there's nothing I can do with that. Okay, uh, top left, I can factor out a 4 out of both of those. So I get 4 and then x squared minus 25. Okay, bottom left, I can factor out a 3 and an x squared, so 3x squared. I'm left over with x plus 5. Top right, uh, I'm going to switch these around. x to the third is the bigger exponent, so I always want to put that in front if I can. Doesn't make that much of a difference right now, uh, but just makes it uh, easier in terms of factoring stuff later on. Okay, uh, I'm also going to say that both of these have an x squared. I'm going to factor an x squared out. Okay, so uh, I'm going to rewrite this actually. So that'll become 2x minus 7 with an x squared factored out. Like so. Okay, now uh, I see that x squared and x squared can cancel each other out. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So that cancels that out, that cancels that out. Pretty nice. Okay. Over here, anything cancel out. Doesn't look right away away. Don't forget perfect square minus a perfect squared. X squared minus 25 can be written as x plus 5, x minus 5. That makes this a much easier problem. X plus 5, x minus 5. So go ahead and put that. X plus 5, x minus 5. Now look what I can do. X plus 5, x plus 5. Gone, gone. So I'm going to rewrite this whole problem right now. Okay, I got 4 times x minus 5 over 3x squared plus 2x minus 7 over 5. This becomes a much, much easier problem. Okay, from here, give this 5, so 5 over 5, give this 3x squared, so 3x squared over 3x squared. Okay, this will be 20 times x minus 5 over 15x squared. This will become, I can distribute this now, that'll be 6x to the third. That'll be negative 21x squared over, again, 15x squared. Okay, if you want to distribute that one step two, that'll be 20x minus 100. I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite. 20x minus 100. Okay, now same denominators, combine like terms. Denominators 15x squared, right? Look for like terms. There are none. Write it all out, put it in standard form. Biggest exponent first, 6x to the third, then negative 21x squared, then positive 20x, then negative 100 minus 100. That's your answer. That was the Last example of notes for the year. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, a little bit. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, it's been real.